Hello, and welcome to Crazy Daily Checker. Today, we're going to look at the Pi Debug Challenge from the CTF. So, you will basically get a PyYC file. So, that's a compiled Python file. And if we just take a look at it, you can see that there are some, there is a long string here. And if we scroll down to the end, we can see that there is a base 64 and some X range, some decode. So that may look like that it will try to decode this several times. So if we copy from here and to the top, then we can run it through this website, for example, or anything that can base 64 decode. So we decode it down here and then we take it from up here and paste it down here. And we will just continue doing this until we have something useful. So in this case, I think it's around 10 rounds. So we'll just do it a few more times and then it should work. And there we go, we got some Python code. So now we have some Python code, we can open an IDE, for example. And if we copy it in here, we can see that we this is part of the challenge. So gset is, or gc is basically gzip. So that means that this has been compressed. And what this script does is that it's decoding its Let's see, it's, rota it's rotating it by 13, and then it's decoding this as base64, and then it's reading it as a binary file, and then it's basically unzipping it with gunzip. And down here it tries to open Chrome in case you're running Linux, and then it's trying to execute the script. So let's continue. So the easiest way to do this is to, for example, delete this because I don't have Selenium installed in this IDE. But I do have these two libraries installed. And we will also just delete these lines. And then we can... Then we can print this variable. So that's basically, it's reading the final stage where it has unzipped this whole string. So this string, as I said before, is rotated by 13 characters. So I think it's A and then, you know, 13 characters to the right, I think. But we can just say print script. And that should work. And then control shift F10. And there we go. So now we can just copy the string. And if we go back to our browser, we can go in here to this page, to this page, codetab.com slash J S U N F U C K. And this is basically a specific encoding for JavaScript that I recognize just by looking at it. Now, obviously I can't read it just by looking at it, but I do recognize the structure. So this is just a way to make JavaScript really hard to decode. But you can make the computer do all the hard work for you and it should work. Yeah. So all this text here, when it's decoded, it says alert and then it says the flag. So that's how you solve that challenge. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned and subscribe.